I'm back and like I'm still filming in the same work gear if you notice I kind of put on some mascara and some concealer cause those dark, those dark circles were killing me man I'm telling you like it looked terrible I, would, I couldn't do what I had to do when I had to do it with those things I just can't like I can go with no foundation and all that but not the the concealer that's like that is my go to product I love concealer and right now this is my holy grail I can say I can honestly say this is my holy grail concealer from MAC right now seriously can a holy grail be like at the moment type of thing like this is my holy grail for the moment excuse me sorry or can it be like a holy grail or does it have to be like holy grail for life like for life man how does that work seriously but anyway this is my Ulta Hurl and um, I have two bags because I went to Ulta twice the second time I went in a different location where I tried to get like the freaking Revlon nearly naked foundation and I can't I can't even I don't even know they don't have it for black people or the blackest of the black like I'm not really the blackest of the black but I'm pretty deep skin toned not really that dark but I mean they don't have my color at the freaking Walmart CVS Rite Aid Walgreens wherever they don't have it like it's like not there and like I don't know like what in the crap like sick whatever but anyway so the first thing I got was this um whoops real techniques sponge and everybody's been like you know going off you know to their mother about this shit like girl have you heard of that new beauty sponge so i kind of had to you know follow the bandwagon and get it so this is the beauty blender the pointed tip you know is supposed to get all the you know all that shit and um this is the uh same kind of idea as this and then as far as like the bottom being kind of flat you know you can kind of do the same thing with the like perforated edge here so yeah all right um so i could i mean i had to do this because i need to put this stuff up because it's like take oh taking over my bedroom okay so the next thing i wanted i'm not even gonna lie i wanted to try the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. But thank God for um, test section where you can test out the product and um, look at it like up close and stuff because I seen it and I was not impressed. I had the Naked 2. I have the Naked 1 which I love that palette um, and it gets a lot of use. I had the naked too didn't like it because I felt like the shades were more on the cool side which I felt the same for the naked 3 palette it had a few dark shades in there but I felt like it wasn't anything that I could work with so instead I got the Too Faced chocolate bar I mean I couldn't go in there and not get like one or the other I couldn't I couldn't go in there and not get one or the other so I ended up with the chocolate palette and it's because the colors are more for like my skin tone like these really complement my skin tone I have yet to use these Ugh. the paper with all the colors like just fell out on the floor and yes this really does smell like chocolate I thought I don't know I I mean, the girls said that it would, but I didn't. I guess I, it's kind of you don't believe it till you smell it type of thing. But this is what it looks like. It looks like an actual chocolate bar. And it smells like chocolate. And it's like a tin palette, which I really like that. I kind of don't like the way the Urban Decay Naked 1 palette is made with like the um, velvet type of fabric. I don't really like that. But these are the colors and I think each and every one of these look amazing you guys like seriously amazing I really really can't wait to dig into this thing because 
like I said these colors look oh my gosh wow like this is for you girl seriously I can handle this I can dig this but um yes so I got that I, the only thing I don't like which is you know a complaint of everybody's is that the fact that all of the names of the um different shadow shades are either on the back of the box which you generally throw away and on the um, clear plastic insert which you throw away so it's kind of you know not right um oh the next thing let me show you these I didn't get them from Ulta I actually got them from my local beauty supply store um ooh, this stuff leaking everywhere but if you guys are familiar with Sandy from the Socialite Life. Um, I love her. Hey, Sandy. Um, but yes, I love her. And she recommended the HD Set and Forget um, powders by Ruby Kisses. And I got the banana one, which I really want the Ben Not Banana Powder. I just want to, I want it just because I like makeup. So I want the daggone powder. Like, I don't give a fuck if it flash back or if it doesn't work or whatever. I still want it. But, this is the banana powder by them. I didn't even know that they made this. Like, what she, um, what she recommended was the color powder, and they had like really, really, really light, dark shades. So none of them worked for me. So I got the translucent powder. So far, so good. It, it set my foundation pretty matte, so I can't complain so far. So I'm still in the midst of trying those out. Also from Ulta, not from Ulta, I got two things from MAC, um, and the first thing was this blush and raisin, and you guys, I found out that I own a fake MAC blush, and it's this blush, and it's supposed to be in format, and if you guys want me to explain that in a later video, just let me know in the comment section, but I got scammed, but whatever that's my fault but this is the blush raisin and it's like a it looks like a dusty rose color like a brownish um, color with like red undertones and this blush is amazing it is so pretty like I really really like this blush um, my sister actually recommended this blush so um, if I haven't linked her channel down um, in the description box um, if you guys want to see her channel just um, let me know in the comment section she does like some hella good tutorials like her tutorials are the bomb okay and I also got a repurchase this is a repurchase of the Mac um, black track fluid line if you guys also I came up with a video idea of trying on the um, black track fluid line against the um, wet and wild um, gel liner that comes in like the diamond shaped container if you guys want me to do that video also let me know in the comment section below but this is just a repurchase of the black track fluid line I've been out of this for quite some time and I just haven't um, been to Mac lately to kind of repurchase it so I finally got it again okay now back to Ulta um, I bought the NYX dark circle concealer and it has orange pigment and it has coconut oil china clay and it's a um, dark circle um, concealer so it's supposed to cancel out like the darkness under your eyes this is light too light for me but what I do is I put it on anyway and I just put my foundation over it and it blends out well so this is the package that it comes in by the way and it's in like a little tiny pot which is smaller than the um, original potted concealers this is the old NYX potted concealer and I love these two for under the eyes um, so this is it and it's like so much smaller than the other this is only 2.9 grams and this is um what well shit it don't even say 
yes it does this is seven grams so you get way more in this but I mean whatever but this is supposed to cancel out like purpleness dark circles whatever you know whatever discoloration you have under your eyes is supposed to help out with that so I wanted to try that and this from their new line of products that they just launched um, also staying with NYX I got I actually got like three things from NYX damn that powder wasted everywhere okay shoot but like I said I'm getting into doing my eyebrows so I got this eyebrow um, crayon automatic eyebrow crayon thingy in um, it is in the color dark brown and I tried this out and I actually really like it I wanted to get the um, Anastasia Anastasia pomade um, for my eyebrows but they were out of that stuff so I kind of like you know just got something cheaper anyway since I'm learning how to do it and I'm not experienced and shit and you know want to end up messing up my eyebrows and you know wasting like a 30 20 30 dollar product so yeah um, the next thing from NYX I got was this baked blush plus illuminizer or illuminator excuse me plus bronzer but this is not gonna be that with this color but this is in the color statement red and it's like a a pink with red undertones it's not really red like really what you're seeing on camera is what the color is actually and I don't know I tried this out and like if you guys see or hear <laughs> it's this is the color payoff that I'm getting like it's not really and I heard that you're supposed to kind of like use this a few times or so, I don't know but so far I'm not really feeling it the next thing which is one of my favorites I've used is the um, NYX butter lipstick and I love this lipstick I think I'm, this is gonna be like a repurchase this is in the color um, hunk bogas bogas I don't I don't know I don't know how to pronounce that but this is the color and these actually feel so good on the lips I know you guys have heard this over and over again but these feel amazing on the lips just like butter and like they keep your lips moisturized I struggle with my lips being extremely chapped all of the time so those I mean these lipsticks or this lipstick feels so 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 good on the lips and it's very very pigmented to be like a moisturating moisture <laughs> I just made a new word moisturating um this is a good lipstick to be a moisturating um, lipstick or a moisturizing or hydrating lipstick because I find that with moisturizing or hydrating lipsticks they tend to go on a lot more sheer than your typical um, just regular formula lipstick would but this look at that and it gives you like a glossy finish so if you're not really into matte lipsticks this will be the way to go I love both matte and you know glossy lipsticks but I'm just not a fan of lip gloss so yeah um and I have two more things and we will be done um I've learned my lesson I will never come back on this camera without my concealer on like I it's not that I feel I don't know I just feel uncomfortable with my dark these dark circles are hell like I can't I have a skincare routine I'm going through now and I'm praying to God that they disappear I can't take it but I just I just really like I like the way my eyes look anyway with concealer under them um, that's all I really need to go out of the house with anyway but anyway the next thing is this blush from Tarte I finally got one of the Amazonian clay that's what it's called Amazonian clay 12 hour blushes and I've heard so many raves, re reviews, rants, whatever you want to call it, about these blushes. And I'm like extremely excited to finally own one of these. And um, this one works great for any skin tone, and it, particularly for our skin tone. Our, you know, the darkness, 
and um, that's why I really picked this shade out because it really complements my skin tone and I and I think it would complement any um, medium to deep skin tone as well I really like this kind of like a satin finish type of blush and it's not too harsh so I can't really wait to like get some good use out of this baby seriously oh and if I didn't mention this is in the color natural beauty and the last thing which I ended up getting for free yes I got this for free the woman ended up she thought she scanned it I looked at my um I looked at my receipt when I got in the car and noticed that it wasn't even on the receipt so I got a $50 foundation for free you guys not from Urban Decay themselves but because on the lack of the lady she didn't you know realize that she didn't scan it but anyway this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation okay so my camera went dead and I kinda gotta like um, do this really quick but um so I really love 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 this foundation I've used it once so so far it's been really good um, I did notice that I do have oily skin I do have oily skin but I did notice that this is kind of like a dewy foundation which it kinda says it's a um what did it say it uh maybe I'm tripping but it is kind of a do I thought it said something about being dewy or something but um oh that's why I look weird okay maybe not um uh, but I did notice that it was kind of like shiny so I did have to set it with the powder which I set all of my foundations with the powder so that's not a big issue thus far so we shall see how this wears it's supposed to be like a natural looking foundation and I matched myself and I must say I did one heck of a job because I never really trusted myself to match my own self for foundation which is really 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 crazy but that's all that I have um so yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video